jesters and future jesters out there it's JJ Jester here and I'm going to be covering some uh, T flip flops which ones still work in pocket edition um, there are quite a few really good ones um, let's go ahead and start over here <clears throat> I added uh, all of these repeaters to get rid of that flickering And this one here, I don't really like this one. I've used it before, I don't really like it because it flickers. And it's gonna make a liar out of me. Oh no, it does it on the on. And basically, I'm gonna go ahead and cover what these are. It's probably the best idea to do that. Um, that way, you guys can see what's going on. This one here. Um, I've used it on one of my builds, the first uh, minecart station, I used this because uh, the flickering doesn't really matter on that, um, so I went ahead and used this. Um, basically it's just two of the hoppers facing towards each, towards each other, uh, redstone on one of them to lock it. Uh, torch here on the other side of your button You got a comparator to read your hopper and Then dust over here on the other side of the block and it's going to your output This one here uses locked repeaters So it's going to lock the signal in the off position which it shouldn't have really done right. sometimes these ones here actually like quite a few of these uh, T flip flops are kinda unstable this one here is the cauldron one I first seen it on Mumbo's channel um, I don't know it was a while ago and it does not work on pocket edition in the original form I can get it to work every once in a while I'm not gonna test it because as soon as I hit that button this world is gonna crash because I think there's issues with the uh, timing being too close on the pistons and they get conflicted so the game likes to shut down um, let's see let's go over to this one here this is also a locked repeater, but this one is, I, I like this one a little bit more, um, and it's by Lord Redstone. Um, well, that's where I see, I don't know, I put signs out here to say, to tell you guys where I had seen them. I don't know if they're the original creators of them, but uh, it's just where the videos i seen them on. Um, this one here on PC it has to be four tick on that one one tick on that one one tick on that one but it does not work unless this one is moved to three ticks when you move that to three ticks then this thing works as it should and it actually doesn't uh, give any issues at all it's actually it works perfect um, comparator, or not compare, um, you got your input here going into your torch into a repeater it's going into the side of a repeater on four ticks into a block and you have your uh, redstone torch on the other side that's going to be your output but off that output you're going to put your three tick delay repeater going into your four tick and I, I, 
I was just messing with it because I was like, I know it's going to work. So I was messing around with the ticks on this repeater coming off the output. And sure enough, it, it worked out fine. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. This one I actually like. It's uh, two droppers. They are facing each other. And it actually has two outputs. You have one input, two outputs. And uh, let's see who, uh, this was Oblivion. And um, I have not used this one, but I might actually see if I can find a use for this. This is actually, it's kind of big, but uh, it works really well. I do like the two output. It's got that clicking, which not 100% silent, but that's okay. Um, same with this. It's another dropper one. And it works as a nor latch, or you can use it as a T flip flop just by taking off one of those comparators. Now it's just a. Uh, T flip flop. This one heat is a traditional, traditional T flip flop. And this is one of the ones that is really finicky. It might work, it might not. See? <laughs> and I think it's like three times and then it'll go. So, not very stable. It does work but it's not stable. You have to hit it like three times and then it'll work. Or not. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. See, it's just, there are so many other ones that are so much more stable. This one here I've used many times. This is just a big circle of uh, three droppers and one hopper. I don't know if I actually put anything in this one. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, I think I might actually have it backwards. Now, this is the way it goes. Alright. And... This one, I mean, I've, I've used it. It's it's very uh, reliable, but um, there are smaller ones. And let's see, done that one, done that one. This one here, I've used a lot, and I've actually used it in a demonstration that I'm going to have after these little videos here, or after the at the end of the showing you guys all these uh, different T flip flops on this one here it is input and output right above it now um, this one is super super simple and reliable uh, one tick delay repeater into torch into torch that one goes into a block for controlling this hopper and this one is controlling this one and this one is the, this one here is the one that gets read by the comparator and powers your output and uh, stackable which is really nice if you got something that you want to have stacked next to each other this is a good one um, see and that one that was st uh, scaphos and this one here is another locked repeater one here and this is ABR Minecraft and we have two one tick delay repeaters going into a um, locked repeater here this one is not locked yet 
but uh, when you flip the switch, rolls should reverse. Or not. Didn't really spend too much time studying this one here. Um, this is like the last one I had built. I was just at, I was just trying to find a bunch of them that uh, worked and this one here I added for fun. I would not use this one. I had to modify it a little bit, put the pressure plates on the side of the boat and put blocks here. As you can see with mine carts, with the boats, you put them in, in a tight space and they don't want to stay there. They don't just want to sit. But, this is what makes this one fun. That's why I added it. It's a fun T-flip flop. And I had seen this one and it's a uh, Constar TV and there may be more um, I'm sure there's more um, T flip flops these are the ones that I thought would actually be practical um, these are the ones that I tested I think probably like a half a dozen other ones but um, these are the ones that I found didn't really have any issues. I threw in the traditional one just because it's uh, the traditional can't do a video like this without the traditional T flip flop. But um, let me see. Here's where this is. Um, looks like an ordinary room. And I can tell you, it is quite honestly the opposite of that. And I, I've used this uh, setup playing with people when I want to protect my stuff. Now this is a trap chest, but you cannot tell because it's facing the wall. And I have to do this really quickly so that the T flip flop reacts how I want it to. Which I was not fast enough. Alright, so. Then we're just gonna go ahead and throw these on there. And we now have a door going to another chest room. And basically, I'm going to show you guys how this happens. I'll peel back the floor here. Now, peel the wall back. Alright, so what we have is so that when you collect your stuff um, and close that door, you collect your stuff, you can still get up onto the main floor by this piston which goes down when this one gets pulled back. And that way it just makes things a little easier to get in and out. Um, what we have here and this little setup with the pressure plate it's just a simple four piston it's running on it's powered by a redstone torch but when the pressure plate has a block or something on it that torch gets turned off because of the pressure plate powering it but here is what's going on with the pro the uh trap chest. Your trap chest is powering this block below it which is powering your redstone into a repeater and that this is the um, T flip flop that I had shown you guys and I had said was in here. That is your um, input block 
and it's going through your repeater into your two torches and it's freezing one of the it's right now it's freezing the back hopper and if I was to open it it gets powered and basically we have off our output block we have a repeater going into um, a block over our sticky piston and off that sticky piston we have the redstone being powered from the repeater powering the block which is going down into another repeater into the block that is sitting next to the stick another sticky piston so this is the kind of things that you can do with a T flip flop. T flip flops are awesome. Um, it's just fine. It was finding the ones that work. Like I have different ones in my other build. You know, I the T flip flops that are in that one are way different. Um, mainly because it's on console and it works like PC. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the T flip flops. Uh, they are very useful and I'm pretty sure you can find some redstone builds that these would be very useful for. That's about it guys. So if you liked the video, please give it a like. Um, if you're not a subscriber and you're seeing this video, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you have any comments or feedback, good or bad, um, please uh, just leave me a comment in the comment section. I'm always good about getting back to it. And um, on my next video, I've been working on some triple extender builds um, that I'm probably going to do another hidden room, but it's going to use triple piston extenders. So um, I'll be tackling that probably in my next video. Other than that, I'm going to start doing some different um, hidden doors. Not Jeb doors. Everybody's doing Jeb doors. I tend to not do Jeb doors. Just because, you know, they're done a lot. I've hidden staircases. I like doing those. So I'll probably have one of those coming up soon. But um, anyways, guys, make sure you have fun. And catch you in the, my next video.